despite the lack of marketing, there is a $1 million Halo tournament this weekend, mm, just yeah. to let you guys know. <laughs> and we are going to talk all about it because I'm pretty excited about it, and I hope all the fans are too. This is HGS Now. Let's talk some Halo. Just a couple more seconds, a perfect kill for Royal 2. Storm Rifle in hand, but he can't Whoa. quite stay alive. And I gotta take a look to see that Helltown is actually running this flag. They're now trying to get this flag back. Look at Allegiance. They are moving together, and they might be able to still get this going. Boy, and that's, gonna that's gonna do it, folks! Counter Logic Gaming, they are the Halo World Champions of 2016! Welcome to HGS Now. I am your host, Computer. As always, I'm joined with my co-host, Mummy, and Default. And you know the show, we're here every Tuesday night talking Halo, competitive Halo, yeah. mostly. Um, so, uh, you know, there's a tournament coming up, if you might have oh, really? heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Halo uh, World Championship is this weekend in Burbank, California, at the uh, ESL campus, so they call it now. Uh, and it's... It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Um, first of all, I want to get something off the rumor uh, mill because let's let's jump right into hot Halo Hot Topics and uh, get to talking about what we want to talk about. All right. Uh, so there's a rumor uh, that the uh, person, uh, I would say one person, kind of has been digging up a lot of information about on the uh, Team Beyond forums. And let's just put this to rest. I'm pretty sure that Ace is playing at the Halo World Championship uh, this weekend. Um, there's no – and if there was a conflict of interest, I'm, I'm almost positive ESL would have handled that already. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just uh, say that we need to stop trying to tear down, you know, people and uh, that are in the community – players and casters and try to build the HCS instead of looking at the negative things. I, I want to grow the scene and um, I want to look past little little tri trivial things like that that, uh, you know, I'm sure nobody thought about, uh, you know, conflict of interest, but it just ended up happening and now it's, it is what it is. Right. And if it's a problem, I think ESL will handle it, but I think it should be. <laughs> I think more. also, too, they wouldn't be like, Right before Worlds, like, okay, you can't play for this conflict yeah, of interest. Obviously. You know what I mean? Well, it would, I mean they they would probably wait they, afterwards. They can't say after, I mean, straight ripping, if you guys don't know, his uh, Ace uh, plays in straight ripping, and his brother Elon Might works for ESL. And then a uh, uh, community member found a rule in the rule book of the HWC saying that uh, relatives and uh, what employees and uh, whatnot are not eligible, and rel employees' relatives are not eligible to play, and so there was this big ordeal. Um, I think it's a little petty. I think it's gone too far for them to, to mm -hmm. enforce the rule now. Maybe if they would inf if for enforce it from the get-go, I think it's just something that slipped past everyone. And now that it's uh, been brought to light, that it's too late to go. It's too late. You, I mean, because Straight Ripping has worked their butts off to get where oh they're yeah. at, and Not it has I mean no effect on uh, them winning or losing the series and matches that they did. So I think that is just null and void. Yeah, I just give. I don't really understand why it would be a problem anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of them things that. I think everybody is, is just uh, want to look forward to Worlds and mm -hmm. get over that drama. So yeah. A lot of people are going to just I, I think that it's going to be grandfathered in. Like, Ace been playing for how many years? Not forever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's like it's the rule book says it's a living document. You know, whatever. Yeah, they can change it on the fly if they feel the need to. I should. mean, it's just something that uh, I think it kind of just slipped past everyone. Mm -hmm. and, and now that it, it's been brought, it's too late. It, he's going to Worlds. He's playing. And there, and it's going to be a fun event to watch, and I can't wait to uh, root for Straight Ripping because everybody knows Straight Ripping is a Halo community 
favorite. I mean, the oh, team yeah. name goes back. You know, the people on the team uh, we all love. And the Renegade, the new uh, young guy that has been playing out of his mind. So yeah. I love rooting for Straight Rip, and I hope they do well. Uh, another thing that uh, has been bothering me with this whole uh, world championship is that the marketing, and it's been bothering a lot of people. It's been oh, a topic. Yeah. The marketing has been very bad. Yeah. Um, been if you don't follow well. their Twitters, then you would probably never know that it, there's an event. So mm-hmm. how would they – what would they do to reach out to people? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't know exactly what they could do, but I know they don't put out a whole lot of content. No. And I think what Moses put on for him that he did a uh, thing like – they only tweet like three times a day, yeah. maybe that, uh, promoting worlds. And that's something they need to work on. It's like a million-dollar tournament. Everybody from all over the world is coming to this. You think you should right. be doing it and constantly. It's just small things. Like we were kind of kept in the dark on how pools were created. We were kind of kept We were kept in the dark. We, we still don't even know the schedule. Like mm-hmm. as of last I checked, I mean I haven't been – uh, scouring the internet within the last couple hours, but as of last I checked, we didn't don't even know the the time the teams start playing, who plays who when. Uh, they don't even. They're, I mean, the simplest of things that should be. Uh, and Halo tweeted out earlier today about the event, but didn't tweet out any information that would be you know vital to knowing mm-hmm. where it's streamed, when it starts, what you know. A lot of information was left out. It's almost like it, it's an afterthought. Mm-hmm. And uh, it needs to be dealt with because the marketing is lackluster. I, mean, I don't know if they don't think people want to know these things or like. Well, it it but like it okay. What makes it funny for me is because last time I talked to Tosh here in St. Louis, he was complaining about how people don't market for these events. Yeah, so like well, he's like, I, I think that what they do is when they con- they get a hold of a tournament organizer, they probably expect them to market for them, but. Well, Marketing they don't market. is not cheap. Yeah, I know, but they're not doing it. So yeah, why I expect mean, others to do it. You like I I complained about marketing on so many different shows. Uh and one time or one thing I always complain about is local marketing. Uh, when we go to events and the locals at the in the area have no clue there's a Halo event going on. Yeah. Like we will go to like a gas station or something across the street from the event wearing badges and the people there will be like, uh, what are you guys up to? And we're like, we're at a Halo event. They're like, where? Where? There's a Halo <laughs> yeah. event? I'm like, yeah, it's across the street. <laughs> yeah. You know, And they're like, oh, we well, didn't know. Well, because they didn't market locally. Yeah. They didn't put out flyers. They didn't put out, like, any billboards. And they didn't They didn't put out, like, maybe even a local ad. And those are, like, the little things that make a huge difference. Because, like, so everyone we would run into <laughs> would be like, I used to play Halo and Halo mm. 3. Uh, I want to go, you know, and we like, yeah, just come on. It's free I to mean, get in. They kind of market it on Halo 5, but you have to turn the game on to, right. s- to find and it. Oh. And exactly, you have to be – but you don't want – marketing, you 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 don't really need to market to people that are go- already following you and are already <laughs> going to come to the event. You want to try to attract new mm-hmm. people to grow the scene. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely needs <laughs> to be – dealt with so we do our part in trying to market <laughs> halo we put out content weekly like um every week i we get like at least three videos up on our youtube plus a live show yeah uh so this is uh it's been a problem and one of the marketing uh tools that they recently or the marketing videos they put out was the group video that they at esl released that got ripped apart yeah. oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> Which it <laughs> deserved it oh, man. because it was bad. First of all, when you're announcing groups, all you really want to know is information. And you want to see the information in an orderly fashion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, when you have to rewind a video three or four times to try to figure out what the hell's going on and who's in what group, your con- your content didn't work. So you know you failed right off the bat right there. But then when you add in stuff like get deleted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Someone in the chat just said that. Get deleted. Shrek <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie because we are we always like uh, we're good at like memeing things and making funny videos. And I was going to make fun of this video. Like I had a idea in my head. I'm, I probably didn't have the time to do it, but I really wanted to make fun of this video. And then somebody told me they've already made fun of themselves, and I was like, you know yeah. what? You're right. I can't even. I don't even know if yeah, I can make it worse. Y you can't really. But I, I probably could. That's the that's the bad thing about it. I probably <laughs> could make fun of it. <laughs> I think uh, I could have made it worse. We could have made it worse. But uh, like you said, though, I, I think we get more attention. We should show more support sometimes than we do bashing so much. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I've no, like, but I, whenever they put out things like that, they need to be. It needs to be known that hey, you. This is not how you do this. I mean, this was a bad yeah. idea. I think they try to put out a little comedy into it, and it, it was not even. Just, I don't even know if it was supposed to be funny. I, I don't think either. It's it just. I don't think they're just trying to put a maybe a funny. They try to make an entertaining video. In it yeah. Though. I just it's wanted to know <laughs> who the hell was in group A, B, C, and D. I didn't care about dudes, dude broing on Halo. <laughs> <laughs> like it's what it the hell was the that? thing is and not it i mean the quality was like three <coughs> someone was like this is a good idea well i someone tweeted out somebody that got microphone paid to make that wrote that script was like get deleted nerds he's like that's a good <laughs> take just put it in right away <laughs> somebody got paid to make that and like was like yeah this is tight I made a good <laughs> video. but um speaking of good videos we took it upon ourselves, like we always do, to Make help fix own. the situation. And we made <laughs> a trailer for the Halo World Championship Series. <coughs> Not series, the Halo World Championships. Mm -hmm. um, and it turned out pretty well. And I think it's going to be a hit. I think it's going to be good marketing for the, sh for the event. Yeah. I mean, it costs us nothing to make but time. Mm -hmm. So, um... I think we it's about time to show this uh, world premiere of the Halo World Championship Series trailer. Before the word esports ever existed. When the main stage was a living room coffee table. When the unbeatable was proven to be mortal. When players competed for companionship rivalries and the addiction of winning history relives our greatest moments and our darkest hours never forget where it started never forget who started it and you will never forget why we love this game History will once again be made, but can it be predicted? Will rivalries clash? Will a dynasty fulfill its expectations? Or will a rising star eclipse the competition? It's not just about the money. This is about an honor very few will ever achieve. The honor of being the greatest in the world. So we just put that up on our YouTube and we just tweeted it out at HGS underscore now. If you want to help spread the video and market the uh, event, uh, please give that tweet a retweet 
and tag ESL343, HGS, Halo, <laughs> whoever you want to tag in it so we can get it get it out there and get some views because we worked pretty hard on that. So oh, yeah. I hope you liked it. Um, moving on. Yes. ALG. <coughs> uh, they decided to ditch Halo. Yeah. I think it upset a lot of us. Well, here's the thing. <coughs> I'm not going to go too hard on them because I really wanted to at first. I understand it's probably a business decision and they weren't making m- a lot of money off Halo, even though that's where they mm-hmm. started. Yeah. Uh, they started in Halo and they kind of got up to a – they kind of grew because they went to Worlds and got a lot of exposure. And then as soon as they – weren't winning they didn't make it to world they didn't make it to the pro league they're like we're out yeah um i don't i don't know uh if i was i the way they just kind of put it in the forums uh, it's kind it, it kind of tilted me a little bit i didn't know if it was like uh they kind of just uh, i don't know they were like we're not winning so we're out yeah that's kind of what it sounded like to me but like th- if you think about it if optic, let's take optic for instance. Yeah, they were they've been in the HCS since the beginning, mm-hmm. and they have not they didn't win for how long? <coughs> like they oh, didn't win until they, I mean, of Ever. course, <laughs> Harley. <laughs> of course, they didn't win at all until <laughs> they picked up CLG. Yeah, which they kind of bought their way into winning in a way. Yeah, but let's if they just like all right, we're not winning, we're out of here. Uh, we're gonna go on to a better e- or esport. Maybe we'll have better luck. I don't know. I, I get kind of tilted because I don't like it when you turn your back on Halo, especially when it kind of helped you get started. Mm-hmm. And I understand it's probably a business decision, but think about it from a fan's perspective. If you started Halo and you became a fan of this organization, and then that's you were a fan of their Halo team, you bought all their merchandise and stuff like that. Then they're like, "All right, we're out." Yeah. Why I would mean, I want to be a fan of your organization? I mean, I get it in a way. I you. mean, it made me mad. I mean, it's kind of like Cloud9 in the same way. They're not much better. <laughs> it's just I think Allegiance can't afford to take that risk. Yeah, that's yeah, understandable. It. Optics it, got it's money. It's <laughs> probably a business decision. Like I said, it's a definitely a money-based decision, but it still I looks bad on you f- from a fan's perspective. <laughs> and It's a business decision. I, I think they'll be back once they get a decent team lined up. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they – had a Halo team and they grew from it and like I said it's a business decision they had to they're in this to make money as well yeah yeah um soar is a org that just came in recently uh it's a pretty big organization they have like 300,000 followers um I don't I'm not into org so I don't know because I don't follow any other esports so when a new org comes into Halo they're out they're completely new to me I yeah. know yeah. nothing about <coughs> them. uh they just picked up the team that qualified from the Mexican qualifier shocked the world mm-hmm um, what's strange is before this org came in, uh, tapping buttons had visa issues apparently and was <laughs> not 100% to come to Worlds. Uh, there was actually a time when they said he was not going to be able yeah. to make it. They actually and had another player subbing in for yeah. him. Yeah, um, Munoz, I think it was. And so now that this org came in and picked up this team and then now they came out and tweeted that they're going to be at Worlds. So I don't know if he's gonna be there. If he's not, if he's just part of the org, I don't know. It's I, I hope he's there. I mean, yeah, he definitely deserves it. He he's deserves. He's one of the reasons why they got into the the Halo world. Yeah, he's thing. definitely one of the better uh, players that are fr- not from the North American region. So I would love to see him show up, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be here uh, this weekend. I I'm excited, dude. I can't wait to see like a Mexican team or. Australian team or anything come in and just like take some games off. It'll oh, it's it, gonna, I'm sure it'll happen. It'll take some they'll games take some off. Games, it's gonna be hard to do for them to be like I think up there. I honestly think what Halo uh, would benefit from is a European team winning worlds. I mean, it's a long shot, I know, but I think that Halo's demographic needs to grow outside of North America, even though. It's not it's not as huge as it once was in North America. It's even smaller than it once was in like Europe and uh, other countries. Mm-hmm. It the the underdog story, everything would just be awesome. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. that's a good story and all, but like I said, like these NA teams are on a whole other oh, level. Right. That, 
But you can't say that because they ha- I you can, but you can't. I don't. I'm not gonna rule anybody out. I really am not. Uh, I mean, you gotta say anything can happen, but on a good day. Yeah. And, uh, and when they have a good day and they have a bad day, the, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen, but it's it's hard to say that. It's you, hard. And to you got to think about the format though, because <laughs> you you got pool play, and then you got bracket play. This is true. And it, any they could get a easy run and mm-hmm. make it. We never like allegiance last year. Allegiance was not the best team at the. They event. got the easiest pool play. They they got the easiest bracket run. Yeah. They they only <laughs> had to beat Renegade. Really, that was like their only competition. They just about choked it to Renegade. Renegade yeah. was like so close to ta- to knocking Allegiance out of the tournament. Yeah. I think they had to do like a reverse sweep or something, if mm. I remember. It was mm. just like insane. Um, and it's just. You never know what can happen. And the Allegiance made it through. They weren't the best team to make it through, but they did. And Optic, you know, 4 0 them in non-dramatic uh, fashion. Yeah, I pretty quick. I really hope that doesn't happen this year. God, I hope Optic doesn't destroy the, the <laughs> second-place team. <laughs> I want it to be exciting because this is Halo's biggest stage. This is where we get the most viewers. This is how the biggest opportunity that this eSport has to grow and it means to have a good show, mm-hmm. like COD did last weekend. Oh, that's crazy. If we have an event like that, I mean, obviously I the didn't venue watch it. And, and the crowd at COD was insane. I don't even watch Call of Duty, but um, I've heard a lot of things, and I kind of cl- yeah. I kind of I hear it out. things because I watch the um, videos. But like if we X. can have a ser- a final series like that, then it, it's going to be so hype. And I think we can reach like ninety hundred thousand viewers. I think we're going to see a lot of good games. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of great games. Games is not the problem. It's just yeah, the competition is there. The competition is there. there. You cannot blame the competition because it is tight. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Uh, Actually, let's talk about it right now. The scrims last night. Uh, I didn't get to watch it. Well, here's the scores (laughs) for you to (laughs) and thanks to HaloDataHive.com. And if you have not been to that website, make sure you go to HaloDataHive.com and check it out because they have scrim scores. Stats to everything you can think of, every player you can uh, in competitive Halo you can think of, they had it all. They, they it's the, uh, an awesome website. It has everything you'd ever want as an HTS fan. Um, Optic lost to Liquid last night in a scrim, and the night before lost to Envious in a scrim. Two back-to-back losses in scrims. Well, maybe they're doing the now, whole thing of let's try new things, like Liquid used to do. Uh, well, they could be, they could be experimenting, but. I don't know. This late it's in the game, it's a little late to be experimenting. I don't take that. Like, they've lost before in scrims, and still, it's scrims yeah. to me. It or just what if they got a strategy? We'll make them believe that we're falling off, so they won't try <laughs> as hard. <laughs> See, I think on land's a whole new beast. That's though. what I'm saying. It's like, but I mean, real two lives in Canada, so I'm, uh, on land, these people, these guys. We've seen what they can do. Yeah, they're scary. They're they're a scary team. They make the second be- best team look bad. Yeah, and they did that last at the last of the lane event. Uh, I mean, I really hope that it, it the scrim scores are in it, an indication of what we're uh, gonna see. I mean, I don't I don't mind. I don't care who wins. I just want it to be a close close series. They're all, all gonna the be way close. Through. Yeah, but like I said last ep- last week. Liquid, yeah, they they lost to Envy all the time in scrims. So when it comes down to land, they beat them the last two tournaments. Yeah, yeah. Liquid's and good, dude. <laughs> huh? Liquid's really good. Yeah, yeah Liquid's good. good. <laughs> Penguin's good. They're, that's a good squad. And uh, man, I don't root for. I don't know who do you root for. I don't really have a team that I root for specifically. I, I only only time I, I root for anybody root for. is when Ryan Newt's playing. That's the only time I root. No, nah, you're an Envy <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> Well, um, it, it's hard to have a team because I like individual players, like some exactly. individual players. So it's kind of hard to like pick. I root the favorite team for Ryan New because I feel like he should be. He's not. He should be a pro player. Anyway, if you haven't checked out Commonly's montage, it was really good. Uh, I think we got a clip of it right here. Um, it was like one of the best montages of Halo Five. Who? Commonly. Commonly. Yes, mm. uh, it was really good montage. Uh, I think we got a little bit of clip right here. We can roll.
It's almost better than our trailer that we just made. No, almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was a good montage, but I have to say that my favorite Halo 5 montage still to this day is Aces. For Halo 5? Yeah. Yeah, that's just because they got it really. I my favorite part of Ace is that slow motion part where he's running through. That and montage he's, gets me hyped. He's dude. seeing like things it's, going it's around. It's just like pretty dope. It's still my favorite montage in the last that, that came out in the last few years. So, let's roll player of the week. Normally, we put out a vote on Twitter about for a player of the week, but since. No one has played anything this week other than scrims. I guess I have to pick my own. And this week's player of the week is tapping buttons. And there's good reason why. He gets to go to Worlds. Mm -hmm. um, he's a great player, and they just landed a new uh, org. So yeah. good reason to why he made player of the week then. Yeah, uh, I'm, I, I'm excited to see him play. I I don't know how they're going to stack up against any teams. It's going to be so interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys are not watching the world event, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> um, let's start community Well, they spotlight. probably don't know about it because well, they didn't advertise yeah. about it. <laughs> no advertising. I don't know. It's community Spotlight. This week's Community Spotlight is all about Fantasy HCS because it's worlds. you got to go – create an HCS team. Yeah. I made one. I haven't checked on it yet. You did make one. Are you on our uh, gr our crew? No. You. I have an HCS now um, count that you, people can join. It's at fantasyhcs.com. So if have you, guys you huh? made a team? No, I have not. Well, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, we're going to make one tonight. I made one a long time ago, and my team name was Fantasy Star. Well, maybe... Fantasy, oh my <laughs> <laughs> fantasy store. <laughs> don't do that. I don't know how good I did. I never checked on it. You can actually win prizes. What am like top team right now? I don't even know it. You can <laughs> win prizes. So if you have not checked out fantasyhcs.com, make sure you get there and get your fantasy Halo team ready to go for this weekend, and you might win some prizes. Woo! Yeah. Now let's do what I've been. No, I don't know if I'm – I'm probably going to fail really hard at this because I always do. <laughs> Let's make our pool play predictions for this okay. weekend. This is going to be actually quite easy to be honest. I mean, I don't – I'm the type of person that hates picking the obvious. I mean, but you want you don't want to pick the obvious, <coughs> but then again, it's like you don't want to be hey, wrong. Sometimes we pick the obvious and we was wrong. That yeah. is, that's, that's true. happened before, so. <laughs> yeah. And that's – like I said, anything can happen. Um, so, p group A – I'm obvious. Okay, this the way this works. The pool of play for this event. The top two teams go to winners bracket, and the third uh, bottom team goes to a losers bracket. So, uh, for to make it simple, we're just gonna pick pool. So you pick your top two. They come out of the pool, and your bottom team to go to your losers bracket. So we're basically picking the winner out of the group A, B. Two teams come out. And winner, and one goes in losers. Okay. So, who's going first? I'm going to say for group A that crowd pleasers and optic. That's what I'm going to say, too. You just going to copy yeah. me like that? No, it's just obvious. <laughs> it's the obvious choice. Group it's B. Um, I'm going to say I, liquid and luminosity. Liquid and luminosity. <laughs> you don't have no love for London? Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I do think London Conspiracy is a good team, but they, they're in a really tough bracket. Mm -hmm. Luminosity was playing really well at uh, the last event. so yeah. And they I've seen them play really well in scrims as well. Mm -hmm. So they actually have a tough bracket, and it, they will probably have to fight to the loser's bracket. So, um, Splice... Team uh, Envious. Yeah, I'm going to say Splice and Envy. Um, yeah. And Team Immunity. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. It's, it's like we're picking just like the obvious. ones we know. It's but it's, it's true, man. It's how it's how this now came group, together. It's just. Group D. Group I'm going to say straight and. Group D is going to be interesting. Yeah. I, I uh, obviously, I'm going group, with. I'm going with Fabby and, and straight, straight ripping, ripping, of course. Uh, but, you know, Sora can do pretty good. Yeah, you know, we, we, I'm, I'm gonna say straight and sore then. Group D is the one I'm interested in because I almost see how that plays out. 
especially with all the controversy going yeah. on about it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say Drake and Corbin. Yeah. Um, this week's community ca- question, uh, you know. <coughs> what is it? This week's community question. We're going to ask you guys a question, and we want you to tell us your answers at HCS underscore now. Uh, hashtag HCSN if you want to hashtag it. Um, this week's community question, you, I could come at you with like a question like, who's going to win Halo World Championship? But I'm coming out with you with a different question. Who's going to be the MVP at the Halo World Championship? Oh, man. Oh, mm. man. That's hard. Yeah. That's a hard one. I came out. Came out man. Of, okay. Here MVP, you go. Huh? MVP. I want to know who's going to be the MVP at the Halo World Championship. Tweet your answers to us at HCS underscore now. We will retweet the ones we think that are correct. We will tell you you're wrong if you're wrong, okay? No, yeah. I'm just kidding. We'll reply um, to everyone. Yeah, wrong. We read, we do, right. I do wrong. read everything <laughs> on our Twitter. We are not those people that just ignore people on Twitter. Um, also, I am going to be having an HCS view or a Halo World Championship viewing party. Oh, I did. Know, this is the first time I've heard of this. You're not invited. Come on. And <laughs> I'm going to have like gonna, a You're going to have a party by yourself then. Yeah. Yeah. Nacho <laughs> bar, all that, right? On Sunday. So what do and I bring? Huh? What do I bring? Do I bring food or snacks or anything? Beer. Okay. Um, <laughs> nacho bar, no, that, that doesn't matter. I want to see what you guys are doing for the Halo World Championship. I want to see what how you guys are watching the show. Yeah, I go. want you guys to tweet at us your pictures, your videos, uh, of, of like maybe your favorite team wins and you flip over your coffee table and <laughs> break everything. We want to see like that. That'd be something you do when your team loses, not wins. Yeah. No. You break your TV when your team loses. Well, no. Plus the cheer for good. No. Your team wins. Like you kind of like trip over yeah. at the coffee table. Like no, you're, you're just running excited. around in excitement. Yeah. Um, yeah. T- tweet at us at AGS underscore now your your viewing party or your pictures of how you're watching the stream or whatever we want to see. Um, with that said, another show coming to an end. Uh, follow us on Twitter. This video will be up on YouTube at our channel on HES Now. Just type that in. It's the first thing that pops up. Uh, we will – our next show is undetermined because, as you guys might know, UGC has a $200,000 Gears of War tournament. So the studio will be down for a tad. It won't be on Tuesday. That's all we know. Yeah. Um, we'll let you know. We'll let, we'll follow us on Twitter, then you will know. Uh, so I'm going to leave you guys with another look at the trailer that we just created for the Halo World Championship. So make sure you follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube and uh, we'll let you know when the next show yeah. is going to be live. All right. Thank you for watching. Before the word esports ever existed, when the main stage was a living room coffee table, when the unbeatable was proven to be mortal, when players competed for companionship rivalries and the addiction of winning history relives our greatest moments and our darkest hours never forget where it started never forget who started it and you will never forget why we love this game History will once again be made, but can it be predicted? Will rivalries clash? Will a dynasty fulfill its expectations? Or will a rising star eclipse the competition? It's not just about the money. 
this is about an honor very few will ever achieve. The honor of being the greatest in the world.